Hey everyone, this is a DC and Marvel collector. Um, my second video on YouTube. Uh, earlier this year I made a room collection tour. Um, my collection has grown a lot uh, since then. I um, also had some feedback. I'm holding the phone, uh, my video camera horizontally this time. Um, so hopefully an improved uh, video room tour. Um, my collection has grown tremendously as well this year. Um, so I'm excited to kind of show off uh, the omnibuses um, and statues that have uh, really, this is my, my sanctuary uh, that I come to every day. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. Um, so starting it, off, starting it off, um, I still have the art prints over here. So the Sideshow Flash one, really cool, him running down the street. Um, I have Martian Manhunter. Uh, it's not Sideshow, but I uh, found it on eBay. One of the key Justice League members, in my opinion. Um, I have a um, Watchmen Warshack art print. Really cool um, from an artist on Instagram. Um, and then going around this way, some things have changed going this way. Um, so this is still the same. I have the beautiful um, Berserk art print. Um, got it off Etsy of, of Nosferatu Zod versus Guts on the Hill of Swords. Iconic moment from the manga. And I still have my uh, Berserk Deluxe Editions with the bookends. Um, I got some flack last time for the last Room Tour video. You know, they're like, you have so many books sealed. You have, haven't read anything. Um, I have I have read all of Berserk that's come out. I just read I just read it digitally. Um, one day I will definitely open up these deluxe editions. Um, they're just so beautiful I had to own them. Um, but I will read it reread it again in the deluxe editions. Um, the uh, bookends are really beautiful. They have the well beautiful slash grotesque. <laughs> um, they have the Dragon Slayer sword with the brand of sacrifice on the skulls. Okay, and then this is my still my indie shelf, my you know non-Marvel and DC stuff, because um, I do love a lot of other comics that's not Marvel and DC. Um, so I got all of the Hellboy BPRD universe there, 1946, 48, 52, 54. I not all of it. I, I definitely do not have all of the Hellboy books, um, but I do have all of the main series and the BPRD main series. The library editions are beautiful. Plague of Frogs, Hell on Earth. Devil You Know, Lady Killer um, is the one on Mike Mandola book on this. these two shelves. Um, going down, sorry, shaky camera. Um, I got Harrow County, which yes, I have read. One of my favorite horror series. Had to own the uh, library editions because they're beautiful. Um, Fear Agent, I recommend her. Ether. Um, and then I have some Predator, Alien, Dark Horse stuff. Um, I know Marvel has reprinted a lot of it, um, but I really love how Dark Horse did the did their deluxe editions, especially the Fire and Stone and Life and Death stuff. Um, so that's Alien, Predator. Um, I have some Jonathan Hickman image stuff, some Manhattan Projects and, and uh, Nightly News I have not read. Um, but East of West I have amazing... Um, sci-fi slash political thriller one of my favorite image books probably um invincible also excellent series can't wait for season two um on amazon prime to come out but a really fun book um lazarus by greg ruka and black science by rick remender and saga by brian k vaughn have not read any of those excited to jump into all of them as well though um, and then on the bottom here, I have some um, Rick Remender, Crime Noir stuff. So Criminal, uh, Cruel Summer, Pulp, Velvet, Killer Be Killed. Killer Be Killed is excellent. Um, and then I have some history graphic novels. Um, so Incognegro is really good. Um, the World War I Tardy stuff. Uh, Berlin, great book. Monsters, another great book. Um, Sara by Garth Ennis, Sheriff of Babylon, Mouse, one of the best graphic novels ever, 
And then I have, I have volume 12 as well, the most recent Berserk Deluxe Editions, but I have that somewhere else. Here's the other ones that don't fit on top. Um, so that's my ND shelf. Um, getting into the Marvel. So Dr. Doom, one of my favorite villains. Um, I have the Secret Wars issue there where he's on the throne. I have a little small Etsy art print. Uh, probably this might be one of my favorite covers of all time. Um, Secret Wars number nine. My favorite Marvel events, Doom versus Richards and everything that happens. Um, I have a couple of Thor issues here from Jason Aaron's run. So number one, and then King Thor versus uh, Gore the God Butcher. Rip Christian Bale, MCU just didn't get enough to do justice to that character, in my opinion. Um, Venom and Carnage. Venom, one of my favorite Spider-Man villains as well. We got some Todd McFarlane issues there. Uh, Venom second only to Green Goblin as my favorite Spider-Man villain. So I got that beautiful art print there of him versus Spider-Man. And then what's new over here? Um, so excited to add the XM Green Goblin to my collection this year. Very recently, actually, about a month ago. Um, so many details on this statue. So the glider itself is crazy. The battle damage on it. Um, the uh, flames and exhaust kind of burnt from the glider looks so cool. Um, panning around to the front. All right, so the gliders, the details are really, really cool. Um, on that side, can't really see it, that there's a spider, Spider-Man's web is on it. And then the Goblin himself, just the costume is just sculpted to perfection in my opinion, the purple. I like the scales. Um, the portrait is, just looks absolutely maniacal. Um, the pumpkin bomb. Uh, and then on the back, uh, he's got his, his pumpkin bomb man purse as spidey would call it <laughs> um and then scrolling over so i have i moved my sideshow spider-man over here and that's because if you look at it from this angle um it looks really cool and i have my pictures on instagram showing this but it kind of looks like a diorama um spidey with the Todd mcfarlane portrait um going against green goblin they're facing each other uh, always a dream setup I had of of pairing those two in premium format, so they look amazing. Um, behind that, I got uh, Daredevil by Bendis issue, um, Punisher Max issue number one, one of my favorite covers, best Punisher series in my opinion by Garth Ennis. Um, uh, Spider-Man John Romita cover. And then this shelf is my Spider-Man shelf. So I got on the top, I got the Ultimate Spider-Man Omnibus by Bendis, volume one. Can't wait for volume two to come out this year. Um, Spider-Man Life Story and the Superior Spider-Man oversized hardcovers. Probably my favorite modern Spider-Man series. Um, I got a Venom action figure. Hopefully maybe get a Venom statue one day, but we'll see, I don't know about space. Um, Roger Stern, Spider-Man Omnibus, one of the best Spidey runs. Uh, and speaking of Roger Stern, I have uh, this Marvel reprinted uh, facsimile edition. I don't have the actual issue, but I love this cover of the uh, first appearance of Hobgoblin. So I got that. Again, it's a facsimile issue cover, but for my purposes, I don't really care about the CGC. Um, and then I have the classic Stan Lee Jack you know, uh, Stan Lee, um, Steve Ditko, John Romita Jr. Omnibuses. I only have one through three. Um, I might get four and five eventually, but like, I don't know. I just, every time I sit down to actually read material that's around from that age, even though I love it, it's classic. It's hard for me to read it in long sittings. Um, I have the uh, Amazing Spider-Man by Michelini and McFarlane Omnibus, Spider-Man vs. Venom. Wish I had the Craven's Last Hunt oversized hardcover. I missed out on a couple times. Have the trade. Uh, I have the J. Michael 
always pronounce his last name incorrectly, <laughs> um, but uh, Straczynski, Omnis, and then the Donny Cates um, Absolute Carnage and Venom run. So that's my Spider-Man shelf. Um, I have, so getting into X-Men and other Marvel characters, so I have Cyclops and Storm on the House of X, Powers of X reboot, beautiful covers, uh, and also Nightcrawler as well. So all three of those kind of go together. Um, I got Moon Knight with his uh, shuriken, sh shurikens, I don't know if I'm saying that word correctly, but um, almost like his batarangs. But he actually kills people and fucks them up. <laughs> uh, I enjoyed the Disney Plus series, thought it could have been better. Um, I liked Oster Isaac's performance, but I just wish there was more actual Moon Knight. Uh, Black Panther from um, Ta-Nehisi Coates' run. Love that cover. Um, Fantastic Four and uh, Silver Surfer, some uh, Gabriel Del Otto covers. And then um, another Gabriel Del Otto cover. I love his cover artwork. Um, Ghost Rider variant cover, really awesome. Um, and then below that, I have a Sideshow Art Prints, um, Alex Garner, Doctor Strange, really cool. I'm using the Eye of Agamotto. Um, and then, again, X-Men. I really like this Apocalypse cover. He, like, just split a fucking pyramid <laughs> from X of Swords. Definitely the Egyptian vibe from that. Um, and then Wolverine stuff, so I have the classic Wolverine versus Sabretooth on Candy X-Men 213 cover. Again, there's my Spider-Man sideshow, beautiful piece with the Doc Ock tentacle base. Um, Wolverine Origins number one, really cool cover. Him reflecting his savageness in the water. Um, more recent cover, I really liked the uh, Weapon X looking X Lies a Wolverine issue. Haven't read that story, heard it wasn't that good, but I do want to read it eventually. Um, and then my second favorite hero besides Batman, favorite Marvel hero Wolverine, got the sideshow statue with him standing on the sentinel hand base. We'll never get rid of that. Um, and then, so another Apocalypse X of Swords cover. Besides Magneto, he's my favorite X-Men villain. Um, and then this is my kind of Magneto corner. So um, one of my favorite villains ever, number three to be exact. It's got the uh, Sideshow Sentinel head base that he's crushing. He's manipulating the metal. Amazing portrait. I have the exclusive too, so I have a head where it's him without his helmet. Um, I got this really cool um, art print from Instagram as well, where Magneto's ripped Wolverine's adamantium skeleton out of his body from the classic Fatal Attraction storyline. Um, and then this is always a highlight in my room. Um, this art print of Magneto sitting, sitting on the sentinel head uh, and body as a throne almost. Um, it's actually a custom statue that looks exactly like this, but I'm definitely satisfied with the art print. And I apologize for the glare. Um, and then right behind all of that, can't really get a good angle on it, but I do have the classic Jim Lee cover. Um, and then these are my X-Men shelves. So I have all the Uncanny X-Men by Claremont omnibuses that have been released so far. All the ones you need, at least. Um, so one through four, Mutant Massacre, Fall of the Mutants, uh, that Magneto Testament book. I wish they would release a hardcover of that. Great story. Um, Inferno, Inferno Prologue. Um, the uh, Claremont Jim Lee stuff. So those Omnis, Extinction Agenda, Bishop's Crossing, Executioner's Song. Um, I have Fatal Attractions, 
Wedding of Cyclops and Phoenix, Age of Apocalypse, um, Onslaught, uh, and then some great modern X-Men books, well, relatively modern. New X-Men by Grant Morrison, Astonishing X-Men, probably has my favorite X-Men art in it um, by Joss Whedon, and uh, Cassidy. Um, and then some kind of other modern uh, X-Men oversized hardcovers, uh, Supernovas, Endangered Species, the Messiah Complex stuff, um, Avengers X-Men Utopia, X-Men Nation X, X-Force Cable, uh, Messiah War, uh, Necrotia, Second Coming and Second Coming Revelations, uh, Manifest Destiny, Rise and Fall of the Shi'ar Empire, uh, the X-Force by Kyle Yost run, and the Uncanny X-Force by Rick Remender run. I know it's sealed. Yes, I have read it before. Amazing series. Um, the uh, Wolverine by Claremont Omnibuses. Uh, definitely will get the third one as well. Uh, the Mark Millar run. Jason Aaron stuff. Um, I've read the first two. I've not read Wolverine and the X-Men. That was my probably... In the omnibus community, we call rare books whales because they go out of prints like a white whale, hard to catch. Um, and Wolverine and the X-Men was probably my biggest whale. So I was ha so happy they reprinted it uh, this past year. I think it was this past year. Um, but I will read that eventually. Um, and then uh, so uh, some other J Jason Aaron stuff. And then um, Wolverine Sabretooth, Wolverine Origin. I found the oversized hardcover of that in a used bookstore. It was really cool. Um, and then the Jonathan Hickman stuff. I have read House of X, but that's it. Um, I want to dive into that. So X of Swords, Hellfire Gala, Gala Inferno, the new Inferno. Uh, and then his little mini, almost like an oversized hardcover, but they call it an omnibus, his X-Men run. Um, and then down here I have All New Wolverine by Tom Taylor, the Death of, Death of Wolverine, Hunt for Wolverine stuff, um, Legion, I'm happy to own both of these now, so Legion Quest and X-Men Legacy, Legacy Legion, that show on FX is one of the best comic book shows, if anyone gets a chance to watch it, it's super weird, definitely a big head trip, but extremely well done, really underrated too. Um, and then I have the Dawn of X, Reign of X trades. I don't know if I'm going to regret buying these or not. Um, I just really wanted to read this series, but they're still making them. Um, I don't really love having a bunch of trade paperbacks, but we'll see. And then uh, apparently this is out of print now. So really happy I picked this up. The uh, Weapon X Wolverine um, Gallery Artist Edition. I have it down here because it doesn't actually fit in a Calyx cube. It's so fucking tall, but uh, I do love that book. And then the other Berserk Deluxe Edition is kind of an on, kind of on an island over here. <laughs> um, so that's my X Men shelf. Now getting into my other Marvel shelves. Um, so up top, I have the Iron Studios Daredevil absolutely incredible statue um from the base with the angel showing his his catholic roots and the stained uh church class window um the sculpt of him with his billy clubs looks like the classic red daredevil i do like the sideshow daredevil as well looks more like the netflix version this more looks this looks more like the comic book version of of bendis um absolutely love it and then I still have the uh, Marvel classic poster. All the different characters. Love that poster. Um, this is a fifth scale statue. Most, Almost all my collection is quarter scale. Um, but I really love this Black Panther. Um, it's from the Avengers Assemble line. Um, I personally don't like Black Panther with a cape. I prefer how he looks in the MCU. And in the Coats run. Um, so with the spear and the silver his claws i think the base is pretty dog shit but uh him the sculpt of him is really cool 
Um, I do wish it was quarter scale, but got it for a good deal. Um, this is my Daredevil cube. So Daredevil being, other than Spider-Man and Wolverine, um, my, probably my favorite Marvel hero. Um, so I got the classic Frank Miller stuff, um, the Brian Michael Bendis run, Brubaker run. I have not read Brubaker or the new Charles Soule run, but I have read the rest of that. Um, and then going down vertically, um, I have the Daredevil Mark Wade oversized hardcovers. Excellent run. Um, and then I have not read the new Chip Zdarsky run, um, so I'm excited to read that. Um, and then going down a cube, so I have um, the uh, Silver Surfer uh, run by um, Mike Alred, um, Fantastic Four by Jonathan Hickman run, awesome series, Fantastic Four by Mark Wade, I read that this year, great series. I have the first John Byrne omnibus, um, excited to get volume two. And then I have not picked up, as big of a Doom fan as I am, I have not picked up the Books of Doom uh, or Omnibus yet. I have the, or just the regular hardcover. I got the Fate of the Four new graphic novel and the new Full Circle graphic novel. So it's illustrated by Alex Ross. Um, then I got the Marvel Universe by Donny Cates Omnibus. Excited to read that. Um, and then going down one more cube. So uh, this is my, I'm not a huge Hulk fan, but these are my two favorite Hulk stories. So Planet Hulk and Immortal Hulk, which I actually just, that was my most recent read. Um, really good mix of horror um, and, and good storytelling. It brings the Hulk back to kind of his monster roots. Immortal Hulk by Al Ewing. Um, great series. Uh, this is, so I have... A little bit of Black Panther. Um, this is a kind of just a classic masterwork trade. The uh, Ta-Nehisi Coates run, oversized hardcovers. I'm definitely gonna get, cause one of my favorite Marvel runs, probably m the most favorite Marvel run um, of mine is the Jonathan Hickman Avengers run. Um, so I have the oversized hardcovers with Avengers through Secret Wars. But I'm definitely going to get the omnibuses of those. Um, and then I have um, the New Avengers uh, Bendis run um, through Secret Invasion, Dark Avengers, um, Siege, House of M, uh, Marvels by Alex Ross, Uncanny Avengers. Um, I have the first uh, Kurt Busiek Avengers Omnibus, so I want to get the second one whenever they reprint that. Um, and then over here, I have some Captain America uh, by Mark Wade, and then the awesome Ed Brubaker run. Um, I have Iron Man, a few Iron Man books I have, so the um, uh, Iron Man Extremis by Ellis, um, I think. Uh, that, yeah, that's the Matt Fraction Iron Man run. Um, and then Thor. I have the Walter Simonson classic run. Um, I have some trades for the Stravinsky run. Um, and then, sorry. Down here, I have Loki by Kieran Gillen. Uh, the first Thor by Jason Aaron on him. I love that run. Can't wait till they release it all. And the War of the Realms DM cover. I really like that cover. Um, below that, I have two miscellaneous books. I don't have a spot for them right now. So Seven to Eternity and the Tales from Harrow County. I'm excited they are continuing some more from that universe. Um, I have the CGC of uh, one of my favorite Thor covers. So Gore versus Thor. God Butcher. Um, and then I have a Ghost Rider cover and Marvel Encyclopedia under that. Um, below that Captain America cube, I have the Moon Knights by Charlie Huston Omnibus, um, Doctor Strange by uh, Aaron, and then Donny Cates run. Some Doctor Strange trades. Uh, the Secret Warriors Hickman run. Shield and the Ultimates that Hickman wrote. 
Um, going over to the left, I got the Punisher, both the regular run and the Max run by Garth Ennis. Uh, the Fury oversized hardcover, Nick Fury. Some Ghost Rider stuff by Jason Aaron. Um, Alias by Bendis. Um, Immortal Iron Fist. And some Moon Knight trades that are not collected anywhere else. Um, and then I have Annihilation and Annihilation Conquest. Really great Marvel Cosmic series. I love how Ultron is in Annihilation Conquest. Um, the Annihilation, the Annihilation Wave with Annihilus is really cool. Uh, and then going down, I have um, Thanos by Donny Cates. Some uh, miscellaneous trades, Thanos Redemption, Silver Surfer, of course Infinity Gauntlet's a staple. I don't have the Omnibus, but might get it one day. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy by Abnett and Landing Run. Um, I have the first two oversized hardcovers of Miss Marvel by Kamala Khan. Uh, Hawkeye and uh, Vision by Tom King. Um, and then this is what I'm currently reading. So I have the dust jacket off. I've been diving into Batman No Man's Lands. And then um, Star Wars, Darth Vader. I am getting the War of the Bounty Hunters omnibus, but these are the only Star Wars books I have right now. I love the Gillen and the Soul Darth Vader run. Uh, down here, these are some, I just have some um, uh, comic covers, or comic issues, single issues in there, um, some miscellaneous trades. Um, and then I have this amazing Sideshow exclusive Thor statue, Surtur's head, he's got Stormbreaker and Mjolnir. Incredible piece, The Anatomy, sculpted by Daniel Bell. Um, and then below that, I have him paired with the XM Studios Captain America. So, shield, portrait's really cool. Comes with an alternate portrait as well, where he's just got the Steve Rogers blonde hair, head. The details in the sculpt are incredible. The base is really cool. Um, got a Hydra mask and rocket launcher and Hydra crates. I do have the exclusive. I actually just recently switched it up. So there's another hand where he's holding Mjolnir. And then the other hand is holding um, a Hydra flag. Like he's captured it. Um, it's got the pouches for everything. Uh, but I, I did switch it up because I do want his classic kind of look with, even though it's the ult ultimate look for Captain America, I wanted his shield up. But you can switch out that little piece right there to have a shield on his back. Um, but really cool piece. And then I have the, the plaque from XM as well. Um, oh, and right under Thor, I have a few books. So I have uh, Gideon Falls. These are some non-Marvel DC stuff that didn't fit on my other shelf. Uh, Dark Ark by Colin Bunn. Decorum by Hickman. And uh, Ice Cream Man heard that's a fun horror series so yeah I have Captain America and Thor there I'm gonna cover those boxes but I love the Avengers setup and then below that I have an art print I got recently Iron Man so that's kind of my Avengers trio setup um, I got the XM Swamp Thing, so here's a, the plaque from XM, absolutely incredibly detailed statue, so it's got the fungi, the uh, tree frog on the base, other plants, you can actually see the water on the swamp water on the base and the uh, pollution. The details on the vines and the um, wood. It's such a stunning statue. Um, one of my new favorites. Swamp Thing's one of my favorite characters. So, um, Dr. Fate's helmet is on there too. Uh, kind of a Easter egg to the recent Justice League Dark Run from 
the comics. It's a really cool piece there. Sorry, I just gotta adjust a couple things. Thanks for your patience, guys, with this amateur photographer. Um, so I got the Sideshow, I was able to find this, the uh, Sideshow art print or Swamp Thing to go with the statue. Really, really cool details, beautiful art. Um, and then I have the Sideshow Exclusive Flash. So, really cool piece as well. Very dynamic, makes it look like he's sprinting on the road. Um, and I have the exclusive, so he's actually taken Captain Cold's gun from him. Um, really, really cool piece. Also sculpted by Daniel Bell, just like the Thor. Another angle there. This is Barry Allen, but Barry Allen and Wally West, I love them both equally. Um, and then I never thought I would get this. So I was able to get from a friend, uh, the Jon Stewart Green Lantern exclusive from Sideshow. Um, amazing piece as well. You have two portraits. This is the exclusive with him screaming. The other one is kind of stone faced. This one has his, his gun like he's firing off energy from a rifle. He was a marine sniper. Uh, the base kind of looks like space rock. A lot of people complain about this base. I like it. It's simple. Uh, but so happy to have that in the collection. Never thought I would find them for a good price. Um, and then I have a six scale from Tweeterhead. Hal Jordan um, statue is a, a translucent of the con construct looks really cool it's like a little gatling gun he's got the lantern in his hands and then uh that right there is using the ring to kind of funnel bullets into the gatling gun so pretty cool and then hal jordan my favorite green lantern um so yeah and that gets us into all the dc stuff starting with those statues um, so I have this little mini GameStop Nightwing statue, not really a statue, more of a figurine. Um, well, it's starting up top, sorry. So I have this custom Riddler statue, absolutely incredible, probably the rarest thing I own. Um, it's got the Rubik's Cube in his hand. Um, looks like the classic animated series. Um, on the base, he's got like dynamite and a blueprint for Gotham, like he's planning where he's going to blow up. He's got a timer. Uh, really, really cool piece, and not many people own this, so I'm very, very happy to have that. Um, I have a Swamp Thing hard print from Etsy over here. Um, got Justice League, Jim Lee, New 52 art prints to kind of match the Marvel one on the other side of the room. Um, and then Scarecrow. So this base has Jason Todd coming out of the fear toxin. All right, it's got the Easter egg from when he was killed in the comics. And then Scarecrow himself, just this piece is haunting. All right, he's got the, the rope, the portrait, the scythe sculpting of his hats and his thinly framed body. Love the Scarecrow. Wish I had the exclusive head. I don't like it more than the regular, but I wish I had it. Um, so getting into the DC collection. So over here is my Flash Cube, the Jeff Johns run, the Mark Wade run, and Flashpoint. Um, Below that, I have the uh, I have the uh, third omnibus of the Flash uh, run that collects some stuff from the older omnibus that it doesn't from from Jeff Johns run, the Deathstroke trade, the Green Arrow by Mike Grell run, and the New Fifty Two Green Arrow stuff, um, Absolute Green Arrow by Kevin Smith, and then the Alex Ross uh, Justice League superhero stuff. Um, and then, so we'll go back up here. So I have the Jeff Johns Green Lantern run. 
one of my favorite runs in all of comics. Um, some other stuff that goes with that, Blackest Night, War of the Green Lanterns, Rise of the Third Army. I have the um, Denny O'Neill uh, and Neil Adams, Green Arrow, Green Lantern run. Rest in peace, both of those gentlemen. Lost Neil Adams this year. Lost a lot of comic legends this year. Um, I got the JSA, Jeff Johns, Omnibuses, great run. Hawkman by Jeff Johns, Aquaman by Peter David, um, Aquaman by Johns, The Atlantis Chronicles, really fun book. Um, U52 Aquaman, I got the uh, Chuck, Dix Chuck Dixon, uh, Denny O'Neill, Nightwing Trades, Grayson by Tom King, Secret Six by Gail Simone, uh, Demon Knights, really cool underrated New 52 run with Etrigan the Demon, uh, the Justice League Dark Trades, I do kind of want the Omnibus, I just haven't made it a priority to pick it up, um, so Martian Manhunter, Miscellaneous Trades, uh, Crisis Line of Earth, just a staple in anyone, any DC collection, have the trade. Identity Crisis. I have book one of The Last God. I'm excited to dive into that. Um, Infinite Crisis, probably one of my favorite DC events. And then I got the 52 Omnibus that was released this year. Excited to get into that. Um, Orion Omnibus by Walter Simonson. And then... Um, Going down here, so Absolute Justice, one of my favorite uh, Absolute Editions, the art by Alex Ross is beautiful. Got the villains, the back of it has the heroes. Um, and Justice, Omnibus Volume 1, um, some Tom King DC books, so Mega Men and Mr. Miracle. Uh, Swamp Thing, Swamp Thing Cube, so I got the Absolute Editions by Alex Ross. I have the Len Wine Absolute Edition coming in soon. Excited for that because it kind of matches the Alex Ross one. Um, Nancy A. Collins Swamp Thing run. I just read that this year. Excellent series. Uh, Trial by Fire. Um, the uh, uh, Roots of Terror. Uh, the New 52 run, which I have read all of it. Just bought the omnibus. I love it so much. Um, some Hellblazer stuff, so Rise and Fall, the different Hellblazer trades, John Constantine, uh, Doom Patrol by Grant Morrison, I do want to get the Omnibus, but I love the thick trades as well for reading them, Animal Man by Grant Morrison, Sandman, really love the Netflix series and how they did it so much like the book, um, can't wait to see that continue. Promethea by Alan Moore, V for Vendetta, Absolute Watchmen. Yes, I have read Watchmen. Just have an open Absolute Edition. Uh, From Hell and Miracle Man. So that's kind of my Alex, I mean, my um, Alan Moore cube. And then behind uh, Green Lantern, I have the other Miracle Man books, uh, Ex Machina by Brian K. Vaughn, DMZ. So this gets into my kind of Vertigo stuff. Um, I got Planetary by Warren Ellis. And I do have all three of the Absolute Transmetropolitan's epic series. Uh, I have all three of the Preacher Absolutes by Garth Ennis. Beautiful spines on those. Um, I have read, again, both of those series, Upgraded Absolutes. Scalped by Jason Aaron, great series, 100 Bullets, and uh, by Brian Azzarello, another great series, Crime Noir, Absolute Day Tripper, if you want to tear up, read that book, very good book, um, American Vampire by Scott Snyder, I've only read the first Omnibus uh, material, so I have not read all the second, I'm excited to read that, um, Absolute Multiversity. I've read the uh, other regular hardcover before. Excited to look at the Absolute Edition. And uh, Doomsday Clock. So both of these are pretty new. 
both really great DC books. Um, and then going down, I have Aquaman and Black Manta kind of facing off down here with some comic stands. I, whoops, sorry. I have a uh, Kobe rookie card, or actually I don't have, it's not a rookie card, sorry, but a Kobe card that I got from my father-in-law, my favorite basketball player. Um, and then these Flash Deluxe Editions by Williamson really don't go down here. They should go back up in the Flash Cube, but I have them here for now. I recently got the Hellblazer by Garth Ennis Omnibus. And uh, the Question by Denny O'Neill. Can't wait for Volume 2 of that. Um, down here, another kind of comic issue box. Some miscellaneous trades. A lot of this stuff I have um, in other hardcover formats. Uh, these are some of my favorite um, Batman issue covers that I don't have displayed anywhere. So I got kind of a whole stack of those. Um, uh, Joker, little mini Killing Joke statue. Got right there. And then um, a couple CGCs that I don't have displayed at the moment. So I had this displayed before. Um, I have the uh, first modern appearance of Hugo Strange, 8.5. And then I have the first appearance of um, the uh, Court of Owls. I got that this year as well. So I love both of those. If you can't tell, I'm a Batman fanatic and you're about to see why in a second. <laughs> um, so, sorry for the shaky camera guys, just adjusting a couple things. Um, so this is kind of my Joker shrine over here. So I got the, I got a bunch of uh, three Jokers covers from Jason Fabak. I love the covers he did. So the Red Hood looking Joker, uh, the Laughing Fish, sorry for the glare. The uh, Laughing Fish cover, call back to the animated series. Um, the Death of the Family, Batman number 17, New 52. And then, um, of course, I got one of the goats, Heath Ledger. Uh, glare is awful, sorry. Um, but a Dark Knight poster in the middle. And then up there, I have the Jason Fawbuck, Three Jokers, Crowbar. Uh, Batman Who Laughs cover. Dark Knight's Metal. Uh, probably, this is probably my favorite, one of my, this is my favorite issue of all time. Um, Batman number 40, the end game arc of Scott Snyder's run. And then, well, just pan to the statue, but uh, this is the Iron Studios third scale Joker with the Greg Capullo cut off face, credible portrait right from the death of the family storyline crazy details um and the entire statue especially the portrait though the base has dynamite little batman jack in the box i'll pan to the other side in a second um this is my favorite statue in my collection not my favorite character but my favorite statue just the prime one third scale Deathstroke exclusive. Um, down here I have the uh, New 52 Tony Daniel cover to go with it. Uh, but the base is a Grim Reaper. Skulls and uh, a scythe that is extremely deep. It's hard to display. So thankful it fit. <laughs> Here's the scythe. So that's what he's standing on. And then just the details. So there's lots of switch outs. Um, you can switch out one of his hands for a pistol. He's got a pistol on his belt. He's got swords on his back. Right. He's got um, bullets on his shoulder. I have him holding the two katanas to match the issue cover. Crazy. And the portrait, man. So he's got fucking death on half of his face. And then the classic look. The scarf is really cool. The fiber material they made it out of. 
Um, he's got other portraits. So he's got a new 52 portrait that looks like Tony Daniel. He's got a classic portrait. And all of them have these little like bandana things coming out of them. Um, but my favorite statue in my collection. Um, again, not my favorite character. One of my favorite characters. He's my eighth favorite villain, but the statue by Prime One is just god tier. Um, and then below those two, some more Batman villains. So I have Bane from Sideshow. Him crushing the bat signal. Pumping venom into his veins. Uh, I, I like the new Sideshow Bane as well by Daniel Bell. I just love this one. The hulking presence looks like from the comics. Uh, I have the first appearance of Bane, CGC. And then back there I have um, different villains. So Killer Croc, Man Bat's on the other side of Bane. Poison Ivy, Clayface. I want a Clayface statue eventually. Two-Face, Penguin, and then Freeze. And I have the Sideshow. Mr. Freeze, beautiful statue as well. Um, I love the details of the ice, especially at the top of his gun. Looks really cool. The portrait, the red eyes, looking like the animated series. The base has icicles, a battering, Batman's cape. Beautiful piece. All right. I'm gonna circle around. So I actually have a middle of my room now that is a desk. So give me just a second. I'm gonna come back to that desk as the last grand finale. <laughs> um, so there's my Joker death stroke display. And then trees and Bane on the bottom. Um, I have a scarecrow, little metal print, really cool. And this I got off Instagram, um, Mr. Freeze. And then this is one of my favorite art pieces. So this is the uh, Ralph Grissetti Batman art print with all of my favorite villains except Ra's al Ghul is not on there. Beautiful. Looks like the animated series depictions. Um, got a Bane cover from the Rebirth run. And then this is still my favorite art piece in my collection as far as art goes. Um, got Batman, the collage of all his villains and their different appearances throughout history. All right, so this one does have Ra's al Ghul on it, but it doesn't have Riddler on it. So. Both of those combined, this one and the Ralph Grissetti one, I got everyone covered that I want. Okay, uh, and then this, this is my favorite issue of all time. This is my favorite cover. Batman 51 where he's over his city, the watchful protector. Um, up here, got Detective Comics, Rebirth, him versus Ra's al Ghul. Another Detective Comics cover where he's going against the League of Assassins. Ra's al Ghul is my favorite Batman villain besides Joker. And then uh, that Court of Owls cover is so sick. One of the talents having him in his sights. Um, and then this is definitely one of my favorite statues. I'll never get rid of it. Um, the third scale Batman statues that have come out, the Hush and the Fabak are both beautiful, but to me, I, I love this one. Um, the Batarangs, how fucking big he is. He looks like Ben Affleck's but with a mix with the comics. Um, suit, utility belts, the base, Amadeus Arkham on the base. Uh, I actually like this fabric cape. It's kind of like leathery. Um, just a really, really cool Batman. My favorite fictional character. Um, and then above, I've got an Aquaman issue. Jeff Johns run, really cool. 
Black Manta, this is a gift from my brother many Christmases ago, it's the lenticular issue. Black Manta being one of my favorite villains. Really cool cover. I uh, got the Wonder Woman, old Sideshow exclusive premium formats with her having the axe. Still my favorite Wonder Woman they've done. Um, the new Wonder Woman versus Hydra from Prime 1 third scale is incredible, but I don't have money or space for that. This one works just fine. You also got the shield you can switch out with. Only thing that sucks about this one is the hair and how brittle it is. Um, and then behind her you have a Deathstroke New 52 cover, one of my favorites. Um, up here, got Jim Lee, Trinity. So match the three statues. And then uh, down here, I have Wonder Woman, New 52 run. It's one of my favorite Wonder Woman issues where she defeats Ares, the God of War. And then the Sideshow Superman statue, I love. I wish I had the exclusive hand, him holding Brainiac, but one of my favorites. Again, I really like Sideshow's statues of these characters. They're, everyone loves the Hush Superman. I personally love this one more. Um, the base has Brainiac. Brainiac's ship. So cool. Um, Wonder Woman Rebirth issue that has Ares on it. Um, and then these shelves that they're they're sitting on are all of my Batman stuff. So Absolute Killing Joke, in-game Joker figure, and Jim Lee Scarecrow figure. Um, so my Batman Absolute, so Long Halloween, um, Arkham Asylum, Black Mirror, Court of Owls, the Snyder Run, Omni, Paul Dini Batman Omnibus, the Grant Morrison Run, Final Crisis, uh, Norm Brayfogel, Batman hardcovers, um, all of the Tom King and um, Peter, uh, or not, excuse me, uh, James Timby on the fourth um, Rebirth Batman run. Excellent series, all of that. Uh, Batman the Detective by Tom Taylor. Uh, Batman Year One, one of the best Batman stories ever. Uh, Batman Gothic, Batman Tales of the Demon and the Demon Trilogy, City of Crime, Death and the Maidens, Two-Face, Killing Joke, Man Who Laughs, Night Out, Kings of Fear, Matt Wagner Run, Archie Goodwin, Steve Englehart, uh, Doug Munich and Kelly Jones, um, the uh, New 52 Batman and Robin Run, I might get the Omnibus eventually, uh, Lynn Wine, Alan Davis, Alan Brennert, um, Last Night on Earth, which I think is Snyder's weakest Batman stuff. Uh, the Dark Knight's Metal stuff, Batman Who Laughs. Um, Dark Victory, I was having Trade, Hush Trade, Nightfall, the first part of it. Gotham by Gaslight. Uh, Venom, The Cult, which is pretty rare now. Uh, Shadow of the Bats. Uh, Batman vs. Bane, Year 100, Gates of Gotham, Under the Red Hood, uh, Vampire, Whatever Happened to Cape Crusader, Ego, uh, Joker by Brian Azzarello, um, Brian Azzarello again, Batman, Dark Knight, A True Batman Story, great story with Paul Dini, um, Batman White Knight, I have the deluxe editions of White Knight and Curse of the White Knight now, uh, Noel, of course I have Dark Knight Returns, I'll get the Deluxe Edition one day. Um, Earth 1, I have 1 and 2, I need 3, and Harleen. Um, and on the very bottom, I just got Batman Catwoman uh, and The Imposter recently. Uh, and then I'm currently reading this, so I read Contagion and Legacy. I'm reading the first No Man's Land omnibus right now. Or actually, I'm reading Road to No Man's Land, and then you have 1 and 2. Here's the other uh, Scott Snyder omnibus, Gotham Central. I love the Scarecrow cover from the Crow Flies. I have the trade of that. Um, Batman the Animated Series. Rest in peace, Kevin Conroy, your, your legend. I have the Blu-ray of that. 
and then this really cool Ra's al Ghul. Uh, just like the Black Manta issue that um, they did a Villains Month quite a few years ago during the New 52. I like that cover. Whew. All right. Um, so up here, some Green Lantern issues from Blackest Night, the different Lantern Corps, uh, Dark Side Anti Monitor, Dark Side War cover. Um, another one of my favorite covers of Blackest Night. How Jordan surrounded um, Superman Brainiac. Got to get some Brainiac representation. Probably my favorite Superman villain. Um, besides Dark Side, um, Rebirth cover. I'm using his Heat Vision. Really cool. Sinestro Corpse. Sinestro Core. Um, Sinestro. I want a quarter scale Sinestro. Prime One's third scale is beautiful. I want a quarter scale version. Um, Flashpoint, Reverse Flash, Eobard Thawne, and that epic Flash Rebirth run, uh, or Flash Rebirth cover. Um, Red Lanterns and Atrocitus, Hellbats, Batman going to Apocalypse to, well I won't spoil it, but builds the Hellbat suit to face off against Darkseid. Uh, Zod, General Zod, another one of those Villains Month covers. And I have the CGC first appearance of Doomsday. Uh, down here I have pretty cool uh, Green Arrow cover and a Flash cover with a uh, Gorilla Grodd. Just gotta get all my favorite villains represented, you know? Um, down here, some comic boxes and some single issues in those. And then this guy is going to be replaced, hopefully, this year. Um, this is the old school um, Dark Side exclusive statue. I still like it, um, but I have a custom coming that's going to blow this one out of the water, hopefully. Um, don't really love the pose, so I'm looking forward to his Omega Beams, his hands behind his back. Ready to fuck shit up. Um, I have the dark side cover, uh, dark side hard print over here. There's Omega Beams. Um, and then down here, um, this is my Superman shelf. So the Tomasi and Gleason run uh, on Superman and then the Action Comics run um, with Dan Jurgens. Uh, Secret Identity, um, the Tom King, um, Superman Up in the Sky, Secret Origins, Superman for All Seasons, Birthright, American Alien, Man and Superman, Superman Unchained, Last Son of Krypton, and then Absolute All-Star Superman. Um, down here, got Death of Superman, I now have the omnibus of that. Um, the uh, Man of Steel by John Byrne stuff, what ha Whatever Happened to the Man of Tomorrow, Red Sun, Superman the Exile Omnibus, Superman Gr by Grant Morrison, and the, the New 52 action comic stuff, Superman the Black Ring. Again, there's the uh, Death and Return of Superman Omnibus. Uh, and then these, these are my other Wonder Woman books, so the New 52 and Rebirth stuff, Dead Earth, the Greg Rucker run, Justice League trades on Dark Side War, and then um, Absolute New Frontier this is my Justice League shelf. Um, the Grant Morrison, Mark Wade stuff, Tower of Babel, and the Brad Meltzer run. The New 52 stuff. So there's the beginning of it. Forever Evil and Shazam. Uh, got Trinity. Justice League of America, different Justice League run, New 52. And I have the Dark Side War omnibus slash the second half right here. And the Scott Snyder Rebirth run. And Justice League Complete Series, my favorite show of all time. Um, and then up here, got the Infinity Gauntlet issue. Got a really cool art print off Etsy. Dark side and the Green Lantern rings and Apocalypse in the background and then Thanos with his all sorts of death and Infinity Gauntlets. Um, Thanos, really cool cover. 
Uh, see my Avengers, kind of another Avengers display. So Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, and Hulk. And then down here, some Avengers villains, Marvel villains, Galactus, Loki, another Del Otto cover, um, Ultron, right there, and Kang, the Conqueror, soon to be in Ant-Man Quantumania. Um, and then, again, one of the other prizes of my collection is the Thanos on Throne by Sideshow. Never get rid of this. Only statue I feel like I overpaid for it by a little bit, but it's beautiful. Got the gauntlets. His gold armor is beautiful. Him like crushing the piece of his throne with his hand. The sculpt on this is just beautiful. The back of the throne is also pretty exquisite. So if you look at it right it's got the mechanics details so you can go across the galaxy on his throne beautiful all right to end this i just want to show you my new center of my room so dr doom is my new this is my reading desk right got my chair um, this is my first statue and it's actually soon going to be replaced by the new sideshow dr doom um, but I'll forever have this one in my heart. <laughs> uh, he's got the ray gun, the fabric cape, All right, the old old school sideshow Dr. Doom. And then um, this is a Del Otto cover, Doom, um, Books of Doom, where he's kind of in his study. Love that cover. And then this is also new from um, Instagram, same artist that did that Magneto print. Um, it says Doom on his annual uh, venture into hell to reclaim his mother's soul from Mephisto. Gorgeous art prints, had to have it. Um, and then last but not least, one of my favorite pieces god doom dr doom holding the cosmic cube he's got his little chalice here with this beautiful marble looking base um sculpting on this is incredible it's got a fully sculpted cape portrait he's got lots of other portraits for switch outs um, but just an absolutely stunning piece um, so every time i read right i've got this kind of doom altar slash throne and a little batman rug down there too um but yeah man that's that's uh that's the collection um i'm gonna be slowing down for sure on uh statues i can't believe i bought so many this year but um only really a few left that i want um but this is this is my collection room I'm so happy and grateful to have what i have um Again, if you want to see pictures from it, uh, more close-ups of stuff, check out um, DC and Marvel Collector on Instagram. Um, and hopefully this is a better video um, than the first one I did earlier this year. So um, please like, comment. I don't really care if you subscribe or not. Uh, it'd be nice, but I'm not really a big YouTube poster or channel or anything. I just wanted to share with you my collection. Um, I hope you enjoy. Maybe you get inspired by a couple things. Uh, let me know if you have questions about books, statues, characters. It's really all about the love of the characters. Um, and I'll end it at that, guys. Um, Happy New Year. And thanks for hanging with me in this long-ass video. <laughs> have a good one.